hi everyone hope you guys are having a great day in this video i'll be making a simple landing page for a yoga website which will include some micro interactions i have drawn out a simple low fidelity sketch that will, i will use as a guide on paper so this yoga website i would like to name yogis as you can see here as my project name so first of all I will need to add a frame a MacBook Pro 14 inches frame all right then I will also need to add a grid to my frame preferably columns and 12 column system for websites is what most websites normally use and I would like to add a margin of 97 okay and reduce the opacity a little bit by 5% so that I can clearly see what I'm working with so next I will want to create some assets I'll be using for this project some simple assets like button and the rest so i'll click on my rectangle tool and draw a simple re rectangle and give it a carved breadth to look like a mo modern button or so i think 30 should be okay the next for I would like to add a text sign up change the color to white and increase the font size to about 36 or so or I may still adjust it and change it to the boldness to medium I will like to use the font poppins okay I think I've overshot that Poppins, okay. Let me scale this up a little bit. Now I will need to group bo both of them to be a single group and now I'll adjust my text to horizontal center and also align it to center so this looks perfect I will also want to add shadow effect to this text a drop shadow and give the X axis a tree and the Y axis probably a five or a six all right to give you that kind of depth of feel uh, the color team I'll be using for this project is kind of green although the whole background will be white but I'll be implementing some green so something like this should work yeah okay this should be great now next I will duplicate this control D and keep it aside I will later use that as my login button now selecting this I will make it a component creating a component and a variant of this component let me remove quickly rename 
this component to sign up button okay cool now i actually want this my second variant to change the color to a darker shade of this green when hovering okay so i'll give it a darker shade of green selected so and under the prototype i will drag sorry about that okay it was on scale that's why so now i'll drag my arrow and select wire hovering and change to variant 2 under this animation i will put smart animates ease in and out back and i will try 200 milliseconds okay that's good and for this second one i will also drag up here now figma has already used my previous setting although i'll still need to change this to while hovering but every other thing remains the same smart animates is in and out back and 200 milliseconds so that is that i will do the same for this other button i want to use as my my login button first of all i will target login button and also changes color to this other variant of the sign up button and create it as a component which I will call log in button all right now this component now I will create a variant for it and for this second variant as usual i will now use the color the lighter shade of green i'm implementing in my design which is this this first variant is this is the default variant and this is a second variant which will appear while hovering so up next i will go into prototype and drag just like for this what we did for the sign up button i will also do that here for this login button okay while hovering so now i have successfully created two assets which i will be using and they will be visible under my assets panel over here so when i need them i'll come here to get them so back to my designing for my design i will need a blob And I'll be using a plugin for that. I'll be using a plugin to generate a blob over here. So this blob plugin will help you generate different blobs based on complexity or uniqueness. It's all left to you. Okay.
I think this should do the trick. adding a picture to this blog but that will be later so like i said the name of this website will be yogis okay and i'll be using a font called righteous font righteous fonts righteous fonts Okay, righteous. And for the color, I will need to use a gradient, linear gradient. Okay, this should do it. This will just stand as my simple logo, which I'll be using. Then, also, let me bring this down a little. I will also be putting some quick navigation. menu icons over here so text home let me scale this a little and i'll be changing the text to Poppins also Let's see semi bold uh, I think Semi bold looks good enough. I'll try adjusting it. Okay. Now I will be duplicating this one, two, just one and two. And this should be our services.
this will be our services button and this should be our about okay next i will also need to put a search option by doing that i will need to create a rectangle give it some curved surfaces curved breadth actually and on the fill i will need to remove the fill and add stroke Okay, think this stroke should be okay. Then using a plugin, which I will, I can use to get some icons font awesome i will get a search icon search i'll be picking this I would like to reduce the opacity a little so that it's a little bit faint but still visible Also, I will add a text here. And scale it down. I will need to change the color to an ash and also reduce the opacity a little now i'll group this tree and make make it a group ctrl g okay so that when i move it around they're all a component It's a line
now I made this an auto layout so that I will give them equal space between each of them so that it looks evenly spaced okay nice so next i will need to generate an image which i will incorporate in my blob and for that i'll be using on splash it's a very wonderful plugin to get images free any image of your choice just search your keyword yoga you will now have different images based on what you would like to work with you have different images Still looking for okay. This should look good. Let's try out this and let me look for more just in case. Oh my. I didn't notice that the frame was selected. Let, let's do that again. Unsplash. Yoga. Let's download a few of them. Okay. I think the few we have should be okay we could work with them so are we trying them one after the other now to put this into the blob, I select both of them by clicking on the first and pressing shift. Then I'll come here and use as mask so that my image Will be moved around okay I think this image should be wonderful it's it does a trick for me so I'll select both of them and group so they become a group and I can adjust it whenever I want it to be so next I will like to add some text elements over here I let's say revive
revive you and the text I would like to use for this is First of all, I'll change the boldness to semi bold, and the text will be poet on one. Poet on one. Okay. Let me scale this up. Okay, now I'll change the colors to linear gradient. Okay. I think I don't like the size of this. And I would also like to add some minor text over here. Let's just write anything. Reclaim your inner vitality with our well tailored yoga plans full stop and change it to pop in and the size to reduce it down to this ok 
Okay. Let's bring this down a little. Um, let me try. Okay. Let me just set it to nineteen point five and reduce the opacity so that it's not all consuming so this looks very wonderful it looks very simple and straight to the point align it a little line this here so what next will I love to see remember those assets we created the sign up and the login buttons now this way they will be needed I'll come here under assets and drag and drop my buttons as I choose and rescale them to the size of my choice. Okay. Same I will do for this. Drag and drop. And then risk kill it. So size of my choice. I think I call size now and give it a little space in between them. This looks nice and straight to the point. So, but well because it's a white background, let me go back to my MacBook Pro frame and remove this grid which I added. Remove the visibility. So, because it's a white background, it's kind of plain and so I will need to add some minor touches to it. I'm adding a circle. Add the corners. And given the circle, the color theme I'm using. Also reduce the opacity. Ah. I think I still need to reduce that a little. Okay. 31. I will also need to like to use this circle somewhere here. And use a even fainter opacity. Okay. I would like to also add some lines, some rectangles. Sixteen. Cut the edge of sixteen and also rotate them to an angle.
let me lock this frame now this rectangle will put below the frame Also give it those colors I used. I'll duplicate this also into three places. Okay. So this looks beautiful, it's not too plain, you have some color touches around and it looks just balanced enough frame, home. Thirty point seven five. Okay, they're the same. So, this looks okay, and I think we're done. And let's try running this presentation and see what it turns out to be. So this is the outcome of the design and we could see that okay it seems I made an error with my button it's blinking too fast meaning that this second animation is not meant to be there And this too is not meant to be there. Is in and out back. Is in and out back. Okay. Let's try presenting that again and you will notice we have a smoother animation on our buttons now oh, this looks great notice it changes color when we hover over the button this also changes color this changes color this changes color so these are just micro interactions which we could incorporate into some elements or assets here in Figma so this design looks great if by any means you found this video helpful please consider to subscribe and like this video I'll be releasing more videos such as this in due time covering app designs and websites. So thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Do have a wonderful day.